Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to compile C++ files and actually other files as well in No, the video did not stop. I was just joking. So yeah, in Sublime Text. So to do it, it's really simple. So we've got I've got this file right here to compile it. So obviously you gotta make sure it's open. There's a .cpp file. You want to go to Tools. This works on Windows and Linux as well. Go to Tools. Go to Build System. Select C++ single file. It will not be selected automatically. So select that. Next, to actually build it and run it, you want to go to Tools and do build with. You can do build, though, just do a simple build, but with this one, you can actually run it as well. So it's Command Shift B. So it'd probably be Command, I mean, Control Shift B on Windows. So I'm gonna do Command Shift B. You come up with this. So if I press that, that just compiles it. But if I do the run option as well, it compiles it and it runs it. As you can see, it says, hello world. That's fine for simple C++. But I've got this file right here. I actually just did a tutorial on this, on how to create functions that have an unknown amount of arguments. So feel free to check that out. If I try and run this with the same, you know, build system, we'll get an error. So it says variable templates are a C14 extension. So we basically need C14. So by default, it doesn't have it. Here, it's not here. So unfortunately, think where to look. No. So you go to new build system, and I'll put this in the description. You want to copy and paste this here. So this is for C plus plus eleven. So we'll save this. So you want to just do Command S or Control S, depending depending on what OS you're on. And I'm gonna call this. Yeah, you want to put it in user where it automatically puts you in C++11 and do that. And if I was to run this now, it works. So C++, even though you're saying 14, I know that feature does work in C++11 as well, so I don't know why I was saying that, but as you can see, it does work now. The other thing that we're going to do is actually just go to Tools, Build System, New Build System, and we're basically going to do it for C++11, 14, and 17. So we have all of you know the bases covered, and if I just save that, call this C plus plus fourteen, and then I'll create. I want to go to tools again, build system, new build system, select everything, paste it, and rename this to seventeen. Seventeen, and change this to C plus plus seventeen. Okay, so now we can select any one of them. So we can select the default C++ single file, which will be C++ 98. We can select our own custom build systems, which is C++ 11, 14, and 17. So if there's any really cool new features that you want to use, you know, you're good to go. So we could just go to build with uh, like a single run. And as you can see, this works. Plus, it obviously still works with, you know, more basic code as well. It just ensures if we have something a bit more complex using a newer feature of C++, we're all good to go. Also, I'm sure you've noticed that if you go to Tools, Build System, there's stuff for C files, there's stuff for Python, Ruby, you know, a bunch of other languages as well. So feel free to experiment with these. So this is just a great way of compiling, you know, a quick file or two just to see, you know, if you want to try out some code in your favorite text editor, Sublime. So if you have any questions, as usual, feel free to pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.